the next question is we have studied about the reciprocative engine mechanism that is in the reciprocative uh, engine mechanism as figure figure is uh, next page uh, the crank or a rotates at a uniform speed of 300 rpm that is the speed of uh, our crank is 300 rpm and the length of crank and connecting rod that is 12 meter i think it's centimeter 12 centimeter and 50 centimeter respectively uh, so the length of crank is 12 centimeter and the connecting rod is 50 centimeter find the angular velocity of connecting rod ab and one more thing the velocity of piston when the crank makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal this is a figure that's given this this values is not given i am actually written the after that and uh, the figure is this circular thing uh, one the crank and the connecting rod that is crank is oa that is 12 centimeter and this is connecting rod that is ab is 50 centimeter and then this is the angle that is 30 degree this is given given that is the we are providing this angle as phi over here i think most of them know about the how the crank and piston will work the it will rotate continuously and then it moves the crankshaft this crank is uh, moving this direction so it will the piston this is a piston one piston is moving up and down continuously upon this horizontal horizontally is moves okay then first of all the direction of velocity at a point a is perpendicular to oa that means this is it's perpendicular to oa the direction of velocity is perpendicular to oa so if it is rotates this direction so it will be opposite it is perpendicular to uh, <coughs> oa the direction of velocity of b is horizontal so it's b is velocity is b is horizontal only not vertical it's horizontal only so we want to calculate the instantaneous and i for the section for that we are taking that we Mm, this is instantaneous center we are for that uh, if this is the horizontal direction the velocity direction we will write uh, draw a perpendicular line to the that velocity that is this one it will goes this direction according to this the velocity will be this direction this or oh, this way this is horizontal direction so we are draw a perpendicular line for that this intersection that means that is the i that is the point of intersection that is called as instantaneous center so <clears throat> we are draw two lines and then we got the instantaneous center for the y intersection then we went, want to calculate this degree these two three degrees and this also so <clears throat> we can calculate that things from by considering the triangle o a and b from that sin 30 divided by sin 30 divided by sin 5 that should be equal to what will be that a b sorry uh, sin 30 that is uh, sin 30 by sin 60 that is uh, so this a b by o a that we can write as this one sin 30 by sin 5 this is equal to a b by o a from that triangle so sin 5 is equal to sin 30 into o a by a b uh, sin 30 we know we can easily calculate that uh, OA means the crank length AB is connecting rod length we are substituting the values and then we will get the value of sin 5 if this is a sin 5 we got the 6.89 uh, then what will be the angle of this one this is 90 minus 5 that is 83.11 then we can consider OIB triangle OIB triangle OIB then this is 30 and this is 90 then what will be this one this is 60 so we got this value 60 the next thing we <coughs> want to calculate the balance things so this one we know okay we got this one and this and this so we are trying taking triangle of a i b so we know the value of 60 and this is 83.11 then we can calculate 180 minus 60 and minus 83.11 then that is equal to 36. Point 89 degree that we are calculating here that is theta 90 minus 5 that is 83.11 then another value is 60 degree then minus 180 minus that 2 degrees then we got the 
36.89 by applying Lamy's theorem. Next thing, by applying Lamy's theorem, A I B that is what is it? A I B that is this A I B. Then here, A B this is A B. A B by sin 60 equal to B I by sin 36.839 that is equal to a a i divided by sin 83.11 this one so we know that a b value that is connecting rod that is 50 centimeter we are substituting providing the values a b and then calculating from this to the, the first two equations and we will get the 34.66 and first and last equation we will get the 57.32 then we want to convert the angular velocity by from rpm so rpm there is 2 pi n and that is rpm in 300 rpm so we were converting that to the angular velocity of oa that is crank crank rpm is there given as 300 rpm so we are converting to the angular velocity radian per second that is 2 pi n by 60 that is angular velocity so what is the value of va that is velocity of a that is depend about two things not depend it will be same as two things that is according to velocity of OA and velocity of AB so we can write this thing as VA equal to angular velocity of AB into AA that is uh, distance to the uh, instantaneous center uh, <coughs> this is according to the connecting rod according to crank angular velocity o of the that is crank velocity angular velocity into o a that is o a mean o a means this is the uh, distance distance so we can use this one because we know the o a and this one uh, uh, omega o a so we are substituting these two and then we will get the v a then after getting v a we can substitute the first equation that is omega a b into a a for from that we can write a omega a b equal to v a by a a this is v a by a a we can substitute v a value from here and then a a we know the distance of a a from just before that that is 57 that is in centimeter we are converting that to the meter we are substituting that so uh, 6.58 radian per second so we got the omega a b that is connecting rod angular velocity of connecting rod we got that the next thing we want the question they are asking that velocity of piston that is it's connecting to the omega a b the end of the omega a b that is velocity of piston that is omega a b into b i b i what is the the distance to the instantaneous center that is we are multiplying that two and then we will get the value of omega a b into b i b i we are already calculated in centimeter we are converting that to the meter then we will multiply that and 2 that is the answer is 2.28 meter per second